Hello guys and welcome to episode 1 of the how to make a game like Valorant in Unity tutorial series. Now this is the start of a new tutorial series um, and this series is mainly inspired by the fact that I love playing Valorant. Um, it's one of like my favorite first person shooter games and yeah so I'm just going to be recreating that in Unity with you guys and also sharing how I am going to be doing that. Um, you guys in a tutorial video tutorial format um, now what you guys can be expecting from this tutorial series is that we will definitely be implementing multiplayer so don't worry um, and this game will be that we will be creating will definitely be playable with your friends I just want to make that like clear as well another thing is that Yes, we will make every single gun. We'll make all the we'll make all the agents that are currently in the game and their abilities, and then we'll you know design different maps. And also, obviously, we won't have like these specific models for our um, game. Like we won't have like a very like one to one exact copy of the Brimstone model. Um, neither will we have like a one to one copy of the Vandal model. However, we will make a gun that looks like the Vandal and will perform like a Vandal. And we will make an agent that might not look like Brimstone, but will perform actions or will you be able to use abilities that Brimstone, you know, has. So yeah, um, now that we have gotten that out of the way, um, let's actually start making um, what we're going to be making in the first episode. So for this episode, we're just going to be covering very simply, um, one, we're going to be covering our... Um, player movement and two we're just going to be designing a small and simple map um, and this will basically be built by pro builder now if you don't know what pro builder is I'll explain how you guys can get that um, in this video um, but the first thing that we're gonna want to do is we're going to want to go and down go to the asset store website and you're gonna want to download um, actually standard assets so um, basically what you want to do is once you have or not download standard assets but get standard assets from the asset store and once you actually do have standard assets in your from the asset store into your account it's free by the way I'll link it in the description but once you have standard assets you want to go into my assets um, right here and you just want to search up standard assets in this bar and by the way I'm in package manager and you just want to import it into your fresh unity project now the reason we're using standard assets is because it actually comes in with a very very nice um, rigid body controller um, that's already like built for you um, so we're just gonna be using that rigid body controller instead of making our own um, partly because it's simpler um, I don't have to make an extra video teaching you guys how to make you know a character controller I believe I actually made a video about how to make a character controller um, I think a week ago but if you guys want to check that video out and make your own rigid body controller, feel free to do so. However, I'm going to be using the standard assets rigid body controller. So I'm just going to wait for this to finish importing. And once it does finish importing, um, another thing that we're going to need is Pro Builder, which you can actually get from the Unity registry. Um, and the re I feel like the reason that many people don't actually know about or use standard assets anymore is because um, you actually get an error when you import it, it's quite outdated. Um, but once you do import standard assets, you actually cannot run it properly because there's an error that prevents you from actually running the game. So if we go in the console right now and I clear it, you can see there's an error that won't go away. So how we're gonna fix this error is um, we're just gonna double click on it in the console. And once we wait for Visual Studio to load, um, there's going to be yeah, a line here that says GUI text. And instead of that, you just want to change it to unityengine.ui.text. And that will fix our error. Now, another thing that we're going to need again is um, Pro Builder from the Unity registry. So we're just going to go into the Unity registry. And then we're going to go and look for Pro Builder. So it is right here. Now, what Pro Builder is, is this, is this tool that helps you you know, build maps in um, Unity. Um, it's quite easy to use. Um, and yeah, it just gives you the ability to build very simple maps. Um, obviously, we can build more complex maps in the future. But for now, we're just going to be having sort of like Carlson level maps. I believe Danny also uses Pro Builder to design his maps for um, his levels for Carlson. 
Um, so yeah, I guess we could be the first thing we could be designed. The first map that we'll be designing will sort of act as like a maybe like a training range um, for players. Um, this technically is won't be like you know like a real map that players will be able to play on, um, like kind of like the range in Valorant. But anyways, what we're going to want to do now is we're just going to want to, once we have imported Pro Builder and Standard Assets and fixed the error, we're going to want to go into Tools. There's a button up here called Tools. Click Pro Builder and then click on Pro Builder window and it'll open this window up. I, I like to drag it into the right side, so um, if you, but if you guys have any other preferences, like obviously I can't stop you from, um, you know, moving the window wherever you want. But what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new shape and this shape is going to be a plane and this will kind of create a floor for us um, and let's actually just adjust the width here and the, and the length so I'm just gonna make this a hundred by a hundred um, I think that looks pretty good actually that may be a pit yeah I, yeah I think that looks good so we're just gonna build that and then you can see that it is built um, however it is white um, and if you want to change the color of um, our shape, what you can do is you can actually, we can actually go into our material. So we can right click on this and then select material. And um, I'm just going to copy this and then create a new material, create a new folder in our assets folder. I'm going to call this material. And this will kind of be the folder that stores all of our materials. We're going to control V, oh, or, sorry, not control V, I guess. For some reason, it doesn't let me paste. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna select the material again, and then I'm just going to um, Control C, Control V. No, it does not work. Okay, uh, there should be like a duplicate button, and if there isn't a duplicate button, what we can do is we can oh, there we go. Copy material properties, and then we can just go into materials, create an empty material, and we can just call this floor color. And what we can do is we can click here and we can paste the material properties. And now we can change our beetle to be whatever color we want. So I, I want like a maybe like a light blue floor. So I'm just going to change this albedo to light blue. I'm just going to drag it on here. And voila, we got ourselves a light blue floor. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into our standard assets. And I'm actually first, I'm going to delete the main camera. And I'm actually going to import, go into characters. First person characters, prefabs, I'm going to drag in the rigid body controller. And now if I press play, you can see we have a blue plane that we're, our character is currently standing on, as well as a rigid body controller that can move around and interact with this plane. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and now what we can do is I'm just going to explain quickly how you guys can use Pro Builder to actually build a map. So we pretty much just imported uh, our first kind of like material in here. Um, another thing th that you can do with Pro Builder is that you can, let, let me just import an empty shape. So again, there's like all of these shapes. So let's, let's say I want to import like a cube. Um, I can just build that. Um, and then I can drag this cube here. Say I want to make like a wall, right? Um, right here. And then um, what I can do is I can go right here and I can actually drag out this face so I basically just selected the face tool here there's also an edge tool and then a vertice tool and obviously these are pretty self-explanatory this like edits certain vertices this edits like certain edges and then this edits certain faces um, but and this is just like selecting an entire object but if you click on the face tool you can actually just extend faces with um, our face tool and the um, move tool um, so that is pretty cool. So I'm just going to build a, like a simple wall um, and I'm just going to show you guys how to do that. So I'm just going to quickly click on the top of this cube that we just imported. I'm just going to drag it up and I'm just going to drag this out a bit like so um, to like a desired length. I think this looks pretty good and I'm just going to drag this out on this side as well. And yeah, so I think that looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this material. I'm going to call this um, wall color. 
and then I'm going to go into inspector. I'm going to change this to like a red color, a reddish, a kind of, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that looks good. And I'm just going to drag our red color onto our wall. And now if we press play, we basically have a red wall in our scene. So um, now that you know how to make basic shapes, just try to build your own map. Um, you guys can copy mine, of course, um, but I'm just going to speed the rest of the next part of this video um, up um, just so that you know you don't get too bored. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to speed up um, my map building process and you guys can obviously copy if you want. So I pretty much just built um, a small um, room for our player to kind of like spot in. You can see here we have something that some somewhat of something that res resembles the practice range for Valorant. Our player will spawn here, um, and obviously that area will be where the bots will be spawning in. Um, and yeah, so we're pretty much done this episode. We pretty much designed our first basic i wouldn't say map but like our first like basic area our player can move in we got our player controller that our player can use to you know control um and play the game um and obviously um in the um in the, in the future episodes we'll actually have like a physical avatar for our player um because this is going to be again a multiplayer game um and yeah so in the next episode we'll be making our first gun um, we're going to be making all the guns in Valorant, such as the Classic, the Shorty, the Ghost, the Frenzy, all of the guns, all, all the way up to the Operator. Um, and we're going to be obviously coding each of the guns um, and you know making it as similar to Valorant as possible. But in the next episode, we'll be basically just making a basic Classic. Um, and we're just not going to be like, you know, we're not obviously not going to make all the guns in one episode. Um, but we will lay the groundwork for our weapon system in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching.